How's it going once again guys and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon Like a Boss. Last time we were together we failed miserably. I mean if you remember the last episode, and you probably do if you watched it, we did fail absolutely miserably. We lost the company, it all went under, we had to restart the level. But that's okay because now we're back we can sort of fix the things that went went wrong. Because my theory is the fourth guy I brought in, it was too much of a drain on the company. That's all. You heard my theory in the last one. But anyway. Today we are going to make a published game, an any topic RPG, and RPGs are kind of my specialty. They're like they're really easy games to make. You can make a lot of money off them. I've I've went through this little rant before. So we want what kind of RPG do we want? Ooh, we've got quite a lot to choose from. A sports RPG sounds like absolute rubbish. Uh, military RPG, not really. I suppose we could just go fantasy RPG again. Fantasy or dungeon? Yeah, let's do a dungeon RPG. Why not? Why not indeed? Let's put it on the 3D. So that's that's supposed to be on the console. Good. And we'll point it at the mature audience. I don't know. Dungeon Keeper. That'll do. Dungeon Keeper. I don't know whether there's a game actually named Dungeon Keeper. There probably is. But, you know, copyright infringement abound. Let's, let's move on, shall we? So we're going to do the 3D version. Uh, 3D graphics version 1. Actually, what the? Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Doesn't matter. I was panicking then. I was thinking, wait a minute. I didn't put on the 2D graphics version 3. Shit, I don't have a fallback. But it's fine. I do. I do have a fallback. <laughs> Let's just hope they're able to make a game in 3D version 1 that is actually good in RPG dungeon thing on the PC. You know, I'm holding out hope, but I'm not holding out too much hope. Ah, once again, we get down to this point, you know, because we're making published games, we can sort of... You know, you split the work amongst all the guys. So, gameplay, better user experience. Yes, that looks about right. I think that's everything that we need. So, we shall put Mr... Actually, we'll put Brian Shaw on design. He's pretty good. And we'll put Erica Robinson on engine. And I'll put him on... There we go, that'll do. That will do, pig. That will do. Now, considering we only had three things to do in medium games, having four people, like four employees, was probably a bad idea. Because now we've got one for each and one spare to sort of, you know, pick up the slack. We don't need two. It appeals to the recent few companies fallen. Ah, yes, the Nigerian scammers. Ah, those those crafty, crafty scammers, eh? <laughs> Trying to get all manner of money out of you. All right, dialogue, level design, artificial. See, I, I can pretty much do the same thing as I did before. I'll put a level editor in, because level editors are quite good. Uh, so, design. We'll put Sweaty on that. We'll put that guy on that. And we'll put that guy on that. Or Erica Robinson, I mean. That that girl. That girl on that. Yeah, being PC and correct to the point. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody can say I'm an un-PC company. So, anyway. Multi-genre. We've got multi-genre. Good. I don't like making games multi-genre. I don't know. There's some, there's some weird mixes that you can come up with. But there's also some, some tragedies. That have, that have happened since I've been playing this that, that I don't know, multi-genre just doesn't work as well as it really should do. Like, I've tried combinations that really should make sense and then the game's just terrible. <laughs> Everybody hates it. Basically, people standing in the street being like, death to that company! You know, really dramatic, really over the top, if you ask me, but... <laughs> okay, that should do the job. Hopefully this should do quite well. I'm hoping that will get up to about 80. Oh, oh, it's going to have trouble with 70, actually. Warning, your bank account is in the red. I'm in the red again. Again. Jesus. What is happening? Hopefully this will pull it out. It is a published game, after all. So it should do quite well. I know our monthly... Uh, our monthly doodads are probably going to ruin us and mean that we're going to have to get some money out from the bank. But that's okay. I feel good about this one. New research. Multiplayer. And find some contract work. Because we're going to have to do some really quickly. Otherwise, we just... Oh, here we go. The first reviews came in. Oh, oh. Is it going to make it over that crucial... There we go. At least it's made it, made it sort of over that crucial seven point. Because that was the minimum that we had to do on that contract. Oh no, oh you, oh why, why Game Hero, you're always a jerk, come on give us a, yeah there we go, all games, games is eight, brilliant, thank you very much all games, now let's just start making some money, thank you for your quick work, thank you very much, uh, find some more contract work, we'll do that one, that looks, 
Oh, actually, that might ruin us. Hey, 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 there we go. From the first week, 370k. We're good. Today, Vony has announced the much anticipated success of their popular console PlayStation 2 is coming out. Unlike the Dream Vast, the PlayStation 2 does not focus much on online, but instead seems to focus on the strengths of the previous PlayStation, which was games. It's always about the games. Okay, so Rockville Snarfs, the game meets the required ratings. We look forward to future business. And that has once again saved our company. Good, good. We are roaming around at the tap end at this point, but hopefully we can make another published game that will make us lots and lots of cash. And come on. Whoa. That was, that was so close. They were like two away. I'm calling bullshit on that. Definite bullshit. Okay, so do we have graphics version 2 yet? We don't, but there is lots of things that we can do. Although I am going to do another publishing deal. So we got any RPG again. We could do it again. <laughs> Or, of course, uh, a cyberpunk RPG? No, any topic action. We could do an aliens action. I don't exactly have the money, but should I do it? Aliens action? Sod it, let's give it a try. 200,000, let's, let's give it a whack, shall we? 3D, 3D was good on the uh, N64. Everyone will love the 3D. And we want aliens. And it's a medium game, of course. I don't know, there's a game coming out soon, just just Aliens. That'll do. Based on the film. Actually, it really maybe shouldn't be going to a young audience. You know what, sod it. Everyone. Wait, does the TES like everyone? I do not have the choice to look. Good, good. Ooh, yeah, okay, let's go for everyone. 3D action version 1. Why not, eh? Why not? We still need to upgrade that 3D, so we might as well. Industry news. Since release, the Dreamverse has been one of the fastest selling consoles in history, but lately it seems that the anticipation of the upcoming PlayStation 2 release is slowing down sales. The Dreamverse did do very well. Dreamcast, sorry. But the PlayStation 2 did kill it. Unfortunately, it just, it just ravaged it and took it out. Without mercy. No mercy at all. No mercy for the weak. Anyway, game tutorials, yes. Ooh, we can take out the linear cutscenes and the... Uh, and the story, because of course action games apparently don't have a story. Uh, Erica Robinson, that actually is about right. Yeah, they've kind of distributed them quite well. They learn as well. They seem to like the game puts them in their ideal role most of the time. Like sometimes it's it's completely wrong, but most of the time it's 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 sort of alright. So on this game, we need to get a six. If we do not get a six, they will take a load of money off us, and that's not good. That is very bad, in fact. So Brian Shaw, Sweaty Cumberbatch, um, artificial intelligence. Wait, what? What's she doing on? Oh, okay, yeah, of course, she's the, she's the main tech woman, of course. And uh, that'll actually let's put him on there, and we'll put Mr. Yeah, that guy on there. There we go. Erica Robinson seems to be doing most of the work. But Tony Rodriguez is he's, he's kind of like the best boy, if you get what I mean. Like he, he does all the odd jobs. Well, best boy doesn't do the odd jobs. That's that's a complete fallacy. Um, best boy is a film term, um, just in case you're wondering. Um, a runner, maybe. <laughs> He's a bit like a runner. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why I'm using those kind of analogies. Alright, today the new game platform, PlayStation 2, has been released. Yay! That means the GameCube isn't far behind. So this may be the N64's last chance to shine. Shine a shiny light of doom. Upon something. Probably upon nothing. Okay, let's put him into sound. We can split the split the pot a little bit there. We want Brian Shaw on graphics because he's the um, design guy. And uh, open world and night. No, we don't need any of that. We do want 3D graphics. Go, man, go. Do your funky disco thing. Although they are doing terribly in this one. Like these these numbers are a bit crap. The launch of the PlayStation 2 has been a phenomenal success. Everyone everyone bought one. I bought one. Everyone everyone got one. It's like, oh my God, PlayStation 2. Must buy it. Even though it's kind of the same as the previous one. But it plays DVDs. Yay. <laughs> and it was backwards compatibility. It had it. Sony, you bastards. Why did you take that away? Alright, Microsoft's announced Mbox. We all know that was going to happen. Microsoft are uh, never far behind. Dungeon Keeper's now off the market. And it made 2.7 million. Not bad. And got us quite a few fans as well. So, right, finish this Aliens action piece of rubbish. I've got a feeling this isn't going to do very well. Like, there's a new record in that, but I don't know. I've not really worked with the Aliens one that much. 
Eric and Robert. Oh, and then they're going to take more money off me. God. Some people, eh? And 3D graphics version 1 is so close. So very close. And they're going to take more money from me. How very nice of them. How very nice. Okay, right. Let's generate some game reports. The first reviews are in. Oh. It only needs to be a 6. I think it may have done it. If this is a 7 or another 6. There we go. Excellent. Oh, don't give me a 4. A 5. Eh. That'll do. And it's a 6. Okay. That does it. That, that means we passed the contract. We're all good. And you, sir, want to generate another one. You, I want you to research something. You are going to research... So we don't have it yet, do we? So we will go with branching story. Branching story is very, very important. Especially for the RPGs. And dialogue tree, also very important for the RPGs. That could be handy later on. And these guys keep doing that. And once he's done that, I'll get him to do another one. And then we'll just crank our way up to um, graphics version 3, which I think... What's that? Publishers. The ga what? The game doesn't live up. You buggers. What do you mean it doesn't live up to expectations? It's making plenty of money. And it got sixes. I feel robbed. I'm not going to go to this game convention. At the moment, money is tight. So, send her on vacation. And no new insights from Dungeon Keeper. What a surprise. And you, sir. I want you to... Bet no, we don't want better AI. Stereo sound. That's what we want. We want sound to be amazing in our games. Utterly amazing. Our post analysis. Aliens and actions are a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. So that's good to know, just in case we do another one later. And you, research... Actually, what should we do? Yeah, we'll do multiplayer on that guy. And this guy can do a new topic. We do need to save up. Oh, a pirate. Pirate. I love pirate games. <laughs> a little bit sad. It might just be because of One Piece. That's that's really the, you know, 26-year-old man. Likes a bit of anime. What can I say? <laughs> Kid at heart. Okay, so that guy, we want him to finish his thing. And then we're going to develop a new game. We're actually going to do another publishing deal. Because I, I kind of want the fans... That's what I'm going for at this point. Any topic strategy on the gameling? No. Really? Two any topic strategies. That's a bit silly. And one's a six as well. So just in case you cut, you don't know whether you can do the eight. And it's still from Deep Platinum. So they're not holding out too much hope there. <laughs> any topic simulation? No, that's going to die soon. Martial action on the PlayStation? Really? I'm pretty sure that that's not a console that's going to be be around much longer, you know? Maybe we should try going for our own game. Yeah, let's go for our own game. Let's make a, let's make a little small one. I'm actually going to make a pirate game. I've never made a pirate game in this game before, so... A pirate adventure. Or have I? I may have done. I may have done indeed. Uh, adventures do very well on the PC... Uh, but everyone does, likes that on that, and I think pirates are Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, not yet. Not yet. I'm not going... Not 350,000. Not yet. We'll put it on the PC instead. We'll make it for everybody, and we will call it One Piece, because I love that show. <laughs> a little bit too much, some would say. You know, I don't watch that much anime, <laughs> but I don't know too much about that one, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Right, so 3D graphics version 1. Do this, guys. Come on. Engine. We want that to be low. Gameplay. Lower. Get stories and quests. Apparently nice and high. And there we go, I suppose. Simple cutscenes. Uh, I'm going to take that away. And uh, I'm going to leave character progression because that's a very useful thing. It's quite kind of like a high-grade thing. It gets people intrigued. It's like, oh, well, there is character progression. Everyone loves a game with character progression. You can't deny it. It's like Aliens, that game is still... It's still working for us. It's still doing well. Artificial intelligence. Level design. We'll lower that as well. Better dialogues. And we'll turn off level editor. Go, guys. Go. Hi, this is Julian Rixall from Gamer Pro. I got word that the village is working on a new game. Yes, I would like to talk about it. Many of our readers are curious about decisions. Oh, I suppose we'd put more on world design in an adventure. Wouldn't you say? Oh, that sounds about right. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time too, sir. It's very much appreciated. In a recent interview, we discussed the upcoming pirate adventure, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know exactly what that says. Basically, exactly what he summed up in interview terms. <laughs> you know, very impressive and whatnot. So, well designed, we were right. Graphics, 
sound down to about there. Open world day and night. Graphics seems to be okay about there. So let's go with that. Let's see what they can do with that. Come on, guys. It's only a small game, but it could possibly lead to something amazing. 67 is not bad in design as well at this point. And we made a fair amount of money from aliens. Keeping us afloat, at least. Keeping us afloat. Come on, guys. I know you fixed the bugs, but you can pump a little bit more in. Get that up to 70. Oh, no, you know. Yeah, solid. No, no, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Don't put any more in, guy. Don't be that guy. Hey, 3D graphics version 1. Done and done. Okay, let's release that. Due to increasing experience and 3D graphics version 2. Send on vacation. Send on vacation. Um, now, she wants to generate game reports. Oh, here we go. The first... Oh, oh very nice. This could possibly... Oh, an 8. An 8. I saw quite a few 10s pop up there. And a 9. Maybe no. No, an 8 again. A nine? Come on, please. A seven, you bugger. Maybe all games. A seven. All right, well, that will keep us afloat. That, thankfully, will do quite well. So, research is... Ah, 40. 40, 40, 40. Right, once they're back from holiday... And they are now back from holiday, good. Actually, we're not going to do that yet. I was going to upgrade my entire team... I think I'm going to leave that for the time being. Dialogue seems to be very important in this type of game. It probably is very important. Incredibly important. Alright, let's find another publishing deal. Ah, oh, for God's sake. The, the comedy action. What? It's a laugh a minute. And then you get shot in the head. That's exactly what that is. Alright, we'll do a new game for ourselves then. Wait, is that not... Is that really not making... That's really not making much money, is it? 137k in sales. That's terrible. Uh, maybe we should go with... No. No, we're not. N never. Actually, no. We'll do a bit of training. Just for the time being. So, turn up here. Do, 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 do. You want to go game jam. And you, missus. Wait, wait. You, yes, you. You want to do... Technology. No, wait, wait. There it is. There's technology. And then you, sir... I'm going to train you on something a little bit, little bit lower. I'm going to put him on the design for pirates, and this guy can go on. I suppose he's my kind of all-round guy, isn't he? Another one of the all-round dudes. So I'm going to put him on game dev gems. Hopefully, he can just sort of bulk up in a bit of the everything. Hey, the M box has been released. All hail the giant thing! Bow before it, and it's 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 massive shadow. It was huge, wasn't it? If, if any of you guys, and I'm sure you do remember, I'm sure most of you have one in the house, possibly. You know, root around, you may find one. Most people had one. At least a lot of people I knew had one. Um, they were massive, absolutely huge, honking giant plastic things that sat ominously under your TV. Scary, some could say. Okay, a strong audience at the moment is everyone. Let's cross our fingers and hope. Hey, there we go. A new selection of um, publishing deals are in. And that's what I was waiting for. So Ninja Adventure, no. Ninja Simulation. Alright. Sounds weird. A vocabulary, any genre. And a fantasy strategy. Ooh, no. No, that console's not doing very well. So I'm going to try a Ninja Simulation. Just because that might be able to get us quite a lot of... Uh, Research because it's it's obscure, isn't it? It's a very obscure concept. All right, so simulation probably best on the PC Ninja. It's, nobody's liking that combination. Nobody is. And the machine version three. Should we go with the three D one? Yeah, we'll go with the three D one again. And we'll put a mature audience. Actually, no, we'll go with everyone because that's a strong audience at the moment. So <laughs> I don't know what I can call a Ninja simulation. Um. It's, I are ninja. There we go. <laughs> I are ninja. No account for grammar in there whatsoever. It's just, it's, it's like I am legend, but I are ninja. It's I are baboon. There we go. I are baboon. Actually, let's go back check that. Make sure I did everything right. Uh, yes, there we go. Cool. 3D graphics version 1. Go. Go, man. Go. You can do it. I believe in you. That wasn't bad. Straight out of the bat. Not, not you know, not complaining. 
two and a one. Could be better, could be worse. Stories and quests, down, engine, about there. Uh, we're getting rid of all of that. Gameplay, we want that to be nice and high. Uh, do, 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 do. I suppose we should put that guy in there, that guy. No, wait, wait, wait. We put Erica Robinson in there. And we put him in stories and quests. Because stories and quests, yeah, a little bit pointless. What's that? Boss, an old number of dedicated fans has asked you, e should I give it away? Yes, I'll give it away. Get me some new fans. People love giveaways. Like, yeah, go on, have it. I'll be like, I'll be like Unreal. Oh, no, Epic, sorry. Yeah, well, the, the made Unreal. The Unreal Engine. The UDK software thing. Which you can go out and get, and you can make a game. It's really cool. If you're not sin about it, you know, type it into Google. Make, go and make a game. I've tried. <laughs> I failed. But, you know, I gave it a go. It's quite a hard piece of software. I mean, I'm intending to go back to it at some point. But it is quite difficult to get your uh, get your teeth into. You know, get your head around. It can be quite daunting, if you get me. So, artificial intelligence. Hopefully, yeah, we'll put her on that. We'll put you on that and you on that. There we go. Although, they are doing rubbish in this. Although, it, it does only need to get a five. The worry is that it's going to lose me fans. That is the worry. It's getting me a lot of research. But I may have picked a very bad choice of topics. Ninja simulation. Who the hell could have thought that would be a good idea? <laughs> Apparently me. <laughs> okay, you in graphics and you in sound. There we go. Erica Robertson, she can have a bit of a, you know, a bit of time off. A day to herself. She's been busy. Yeah, that last stage was okay. Not too shabby. You know, it may get a boost just because of the strong audience to everyone, so it may get that five. And that's all we're looking for in this. 40, come on, a little bit more. You know what that'll do. I'm not expecting great things from this. It's probably going to be utter terrible. Truly, truly crap. Special training available for Sweaty Cumberbatch. Yay. Yay, Sweaty. Well done, man. Well done. Uh, right. You want to go with 3D graphics version 2. And then everybody else can work on a contract. Until we get that money in from that game. Because, yeah, we're waiting at this point. The first views for our game are in. Oh, God. Oh, go. Go, we got the five. Yes. Okay. It may not be a four. Yo, whoop, whoop, six. We've done it. All right. Well, we beat the spread. <laughs> There's a soup. There we go. Thank you, Game Hero, for not giving me a four. And it's a five. Yes. Whoa. We are safe. Whoo. So close. So close. It's so far. And is it going to get us some fans? The game meets the required ratings. We look forward to future business. Good, good. We will transfer 24k to you. And we got some new fans. Not bad at all, I think. Once again, that has saved us from depression and depravity. Just general depravity, you know. How much money? It's, it's making us a decent amount of cash. But we are going to have to make that new custom game engine pretty quickly. Wait, do we not have it yet? Wait a minute. Oh, he's still doing it. It's cool. There we go. He's done it now. Alright, so create a custom engine. Or I think maybe we should do a few more games in version 1. Possibly. Because this one might... Yeah, this one's probably going to cost us a fortune. Uh, so, I suppose this one's the machine. I'm just going to see how much this is going to cost us. Machizen. The, 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 the machizen? The hell's a machizen? Version 4, 3D, of course. This one's the 3D version. Uh, branching story... I, I suppose we can get rid of linear story if we got branching. Multiplayer. Game tutorials. Yeah, we'll keep all that. Dialogue tree. In that case, we'll get rid of better dialogues. Level editor. Ooh, do, 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 do. Open world. Stereo sound. That's probably the best we're going to get at the moment. That's going to cost me 450k. Should I go for it? Not yet. I'll wait. I'll wait. But now I know how much it's going to cost me. We're all good. So, right. I think I'm going to end that one there, guys. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Game Dev Tycoon Like a Boss. It has turned into a very just playthrough at the moment, hasn't it? It was originally supposed to be sort of tutorial-esque, but it, it kind of is at the same time. I suppose, it, like, my failures you can look at and be like, oh, well, I'll know not to do that. And my successes you can look at and be like, well, I know how to do that. I suppose it's interesting in a game like this giving, like, one long walkthrough tutorial as opposed to a tutorial for one specific thing, if that makes sense. It's like a tutorial for the whole game. 
which is a bit of an undertaking. So anyway, that's beside the point. I'll see you all next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.